A few days ago, my friend Awesome Mario Bros got an iceberg made out of his channel. If you don't know what an iceberg is, it's basically a picture of an iceberg that is split up into multiple levels, and as the levels go down, the theories or unknown facts get more and more ominous and unprovable. However, they are still possible theories. So I asked my Instagram to make Crazy Mario Bros icebergs, and I received these two icebergs. So I'm gonna be going through all of them and giving you guys an explanation. This was actually more interesting than I thought, so I think you'll wanna watch it. Also, if you're not subscribed, then please be sure to subscribe. This is my second channel and we're really close to 30k, so just subscribe if you haven't already. All right, it's time to talk about some theories and icebergs. Hope you enjoy. The first thing in the sky level is Chef Wee Wee. Now, I don't remember where I said this, but there's some fans who know the reason why I made Chef Wee Wee. Now, if you don't know, then do you want me to tell you why? Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> I made him to make people mad. I knew Logan's fans would be mad at me if I made a character essentially just ripping off his because almost every other plush tuber virtually did it at the time and it was really, really weird. I mean, why do you think I only used him for like two videos and then I killed him off? Like, that's not really how it works. Essentially, the whole thing was planned and I was gonna get rid of him anyway. I just wanted to see how riled up I could get people before I decided to get rid of him. I don't know. It was just a little fun experiment I did and that's why I killed him off because after that, I realized that with my channel, channel having 6,000 subscribers and me having a potential future in plush tubing, I didn't want to just, you know, rip off SML as a joke. I kind of wanted to actually take my own original direction. So I decided to get rid of the character, scrap it, and just go a new direction with my new characters and stuff. And, you know, I mean, you see how big the channel's gotten since then. So, I mean, being original is a key point on YouTube. So yeah, that's basically it. The last point in the sky level is deleted videos. I actually have a fair amount of deleted videos. Do I have any of them? I have a few. I wasn't able to save all of them, and I honestly don't really remember why. I think there was just some point where I stopped saving my videos because I didn't really think I needed them. That, or I just don't know where they are. Honestly, I have no idea. I've only been able to locate two of them, but I will talk about the ones I can remember off the top of my head. The first one that comes to mind is Officer Mario, which is a video I did sometime between August and September 2017. I don't remember the exact date. All I really remember is that this was the first video I made after switching from Sony Vegas to Premiere Pro. So the editing style is a little different, but... Honestly, wasn't too bad. Obviously, there was more I could have done with it, but I was young and I didn't understand too much about storytelling, so, you know. There's reasons why I deleted this video, but I'll get into it later just so I don't have to explain it for every single video because they're all deleted for the same reason. The next one that comes to mind is the video Brandon, which surrounds a Sock Monkey character, which was first introduced in that video, and the Sock Monkey character would be continued to use in videos such as Brandon's Birthday, The Legend of Brandon, and, you know, there were a few Brandon videos. If you were a fan of me in 2017, you probably remember the video video Pennywise, which is now deleted. The video surrounds Bowser Jr. and Brandon meeting Pennywise and basically just kind of like adopting him, but then Pennywise kills Brandon in the middle of the night and then Jr. kind of like interrogates him. Honestly, it's a really, really stupid video. Like, I, I don't even understand what we were thinking. But I mean, we were just kids having fun, so who really cares? This explains the reason why when you look at my channel now, the first video that features Pennywise is Pennywise Returns. So for those who are wondering why it's called Returns when it's technically his first video, it's because there was this deleted video before. Now, the reason that all these videos were deleted is because I had IRL drama with the cast members in these videos, and in order to avoid, you know, giving them any more publicity, because then people would find out that they're not in the videos anymore, and then, you know, there's all kinds of witch hunting and stuff on the internet. So I wanted to avoid that and just kind of move on from it, so that's why the videos are deleted. Honestly, those are the only videos I can really think of that come off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna move on from this. I don't really delete videos often, so yeah, there's not really anything else. On the tip of the iceberg, level, we have CMB's first video. Now, the video they're referring to is the funniest video in the world. Now, the reason why I made this... I don't know. That actually wasn't even the first video I posted on that YouTube channel, but it was the one that I wanted to leave up as my first video because I figured it was funny enough to where if people looked back at my channel, then they would just be so confused on what I was doing back then. There really isn't even an explanation for the video. It was kind of just something I made out of boredom just to see if it would blow up just because of how dumb it was, but it never really blew up, obviously. I don't know, just a random video of me being bored because I was bored and yeah, not really much to say, so let's get to the next point. The next point on the tip of the iceberg 
is Luigi's voice keeps changing in old videos. I don't know exactly what this one is talking about, although I think I can make a clue. I'm assuming they're talking about the fact that in the very, very early videos, Yubin played Luigi, and then I started playing Luigi, and then you start noticing a little mix and match about how sometimes I played Luigi, and sometimes Carter played Luigi, specifically in the Mario and Luigi time series, where Carter played Luigi, but outside of the series, I played Luigi. The basic reason for this is because when it came to Yubin, I just wanted him to voice Luigi so that I wouldn't have to hold two characters on a screen at once. I also wanted to have some diverse voices with my characters, so I usually just split up the characters between me and him. The same goes for Carter. I would give him the Luigi and Bowser voice whenever he comes over, just so that it's not just me on screen for the majority of the video, it can also be him, so that's basically it. The last point on the tip of the iceberg is Ian Studios. Ian Studios was my old online username from 2014 to 2016, and there's not really much to say about it. All that can really be said about it is that I used to do animations and the name was Ian Studios. I don't know. There's not really much to say, to be honest. It's just that that was my old online identity, and yeah, that's really it. All right, now on to the next level. So now we're in the below the waters level, where we start off with the red couch. Honestly, there really isn't too much to say about this, but I can understand where people would get confused. Basically, from 2017 to early 2019, I had a red couch that I frequently used in my videos, and the main reason for this was because the room that it was in was literally the brightest room in the house. It seems to receive the most sunlight out of any room in the house, so I usually use it for filming since it's also not really being used for anything. Sometime in mid-2019, there was a change where it switched from a a red couch to a white bed. Which, if you watch my plush videos nowadays, you'll notice that that bed is in, like, almost every single video. So, what happened to this red couch? We moved it downstairs. We still use it, but it's just downstairs. We just moved it down the floor. That's all. The next point on the below the waters level is the drama. I don't really know what drama this is talking about because I haven't really had any major controversies, but I haven't had many minor controversies either. The one that most quickly comes to my head and the one that they're probably referring to is back in 2017 when I fired Yubin from my YouTube channel. Yubin, as I mentioned earlier, was one of my cast members in my really early videos, and you guys probably noticed that after a short period of time, he kind of just stopped appearing. Luigi's new toy was the last video that he was in, and then he just kind of dipped. The reason for that is because at the time we had a lot of petty disagreements since we were just you know we were kids and we just argued over the most dumb things so you know i got pretty annoyed of it quickly and i kicked him out of my videos but you know me and him are still friends to this day so it's nothing really against him we just don't really make videos anymore the final point on the below the waters level is the sm134 collab i have had so many people ask me what happened to the super mario 134 collab and i've kind of avoided talking about it just because i mean can you really guess why? It's something I've put off for like a year. I honestly feel like no matter what I say about this, I'm probably gonna have someone angry at me just because it's been like forever since I announced it and nothing's really came out of it. Now, what's the reason for this? Well, it's kind of a lame reason, but basically, I'm kind of a really busy guy nowadays. Back when I announced the Super Mario 134 collab, I think I was just around 70,000 subscribers, if not less. My channel was growing at a pretty good rate and I wasn't really too busy. I was pretty ahead video since my videos at the time didn't really take too long to make and overall i had a lot of free time so i was willing to take up the risk however as you guys know as 2019 progressed my channel blew up and the same goes for 2020 and the same goes for 2021 hence the reason why i haven't really worked on it because i've barely had enough free time especially nowadays i mean my videos take forever to make now so with that on top of school on top of me being a major procrastinator i haven't really had much time to make it the same same can be said about the Baby Bro series. It's not cancelled, it's just kind of in development hell, if you know what that means. So no, it's not cancelled, me and 1 through 4 are really good friends, and he completely understands my reasoning, and I've even had him as cameos in a few of my recent videos, just so that, you know, kind of makes up for it in a way. 1 through 4 is a great guy, and I really hope we can finish this project one day, because honestly, I'm still just as excited as you guys. Alright, now on to the next level. So now that we're almost at the end of the first iceberg, we're now in the lower level, where it starts off with face reveal. Honestly? I don't really know why this is on here. My face reveal is still public on my channel in the video 10,000 subscribers. I assume they're talking about why I didn't show my face in the first place, and it was just because I wasn't really comfortable with it. However, I always had a goal to hit 10,000 subscribers as soon as I even started plush videos. To most people, when they make a YouTube channel, they really want to hit a million subscribers, and for me, that was 10,000. Why? I don't really know, but I just really wanted to hit 10,000. It was a close enough goal to where I knew I could hit it, but also it was big enough to where it felt accomplishing. So once 
Once I hit 10,000, since it felt like the biggest thing in the world to me, I figured I'd do the biggest thing in the world that I didn't want to do, which was show my face, so yeah. And I mean, nowadays I show my face all the time, so I've gotten more comfortable with it over time. It's just at the time I didn't really want to, but I don't really mind it. The next thing on the lower level is Koopalings. I'm not really sure what this one is about, but I'm assuming they're talking about the fact that the Koopalings rarely ever appear in my videos. The main reason for this is because the voice actor of half the Koopalings, Carter, is rarely ever to be seen, and the reason for that is because me and him both have busy lives nowadays, and it's really hard to find filming time. We also don't really have enough good ideas to make, so if you have any Koopalings videos ideas, please leave them in the comments down below. We really need some ideas. So no, they're not dead. I've surprisingly seen that theory a few times. The Koopalings are not dead. They're just... I don't know. They're somewhere. The last thing on the lower level is the Crazy Mario Bros. docs in 2017. I'm not gonna delve too deep into this one since I don't really like talking about this situation. However, I'll just sum it up really briefly. Yes, back in 2017, I was doxxed and I had my info leak. I had a ton of pizza sent to my house that day and I try not to really talk about it publicly because I don't want to feed it on. Basically, if you've ever seen the video of SML explaining why he got swatted and how he doesn't really want to talk about it because he doesn't want people to continue doing it, that's essentially essentially my same reasoning for why I don't talk about the donk. I just don't really need to, and overall, it's just something I try not to talk about publicly for obvious reasons, so just, just don't bring it up. Now we're at the second to last level, the Abyss, where it starts out with Bowser Jr. plush unboxing. The Bowser Jr. plush unboxing is still up on my separate channel with the title being Bowser Jr. I'm not really sure what the meaning of this one is, so I'm kind of just gonna skip over it, but yeah, the video is still up on this channel. The next thing on the Abyss level is Truth or Dare. I'm gonna assume that this one is talking about the ending to Truth or Dare 5. I can't really go into detail on the ending of Truth or Dare 5 to avoid spoilers, however, if you kind of just listen to what they're saying and try and understand it a little bit, it, you'll basically understand what I'm hinting at. And the final thing on the Abyss level is CMB merch. Now, if you've ever seen the Instagram account Shop Crazy Mario Bros, yes, that is me. You can go follow it if you want, because when I make merch, that's where I'm going to be announcing it. Now, I did have plans to make merch in early 2020, and I think I even announced it like all over my Instagram. However, people noticed that it never really came out. Now, what's the reason for this? Well, because I actually did have a merch site up. However, the printing quality was kind of mediocre, and I didn't really want to sell it to my fans with it being in poor quality, so I never really announced it. However, I am looking into some merch for 500k, so <laughs> stay tuned. And don't worry, it won't be crazy expensive. And the final thing in the first iceberg is the last level, the end, where the only point is the Koopaling's real dad. There isn't really too much to say about this, I think it was all basically summed up in the video Wendy, but I guess it might have been confusing to some people, so I kind of have to verbally explain it. If you haven't seen the video already, I'm just gonna give a spoiler warning, please just go watch it so that you're not spoiled. If you've already watched it, then you can continue watching. So as a verbal explanation, basically the Koopalings all lived in this house with this other Bowser from another dimension, and then they ended up finding the portal in the attic, which they weren't supposed to know about, hence the reason why the attic is kind of like- You notice how there's nothing in there and how it's not really that interesting aside from the portal. That was essentially the whole purpose so that that alternate Bowser would give them a reason not to go in there because there's like nothing interesting. So that alternate Bowser was basically trying to hide the portal, and throughout the course of 2018, the portal was very frequently used to bring in the Koopalings, and that's basically all I can really say about it. Over time, more and more Koopalings were noticed to be missing since they had found the portal and started going in it. This also signifies the crack in the ceiling which basically explains it because the portal was there and overall that's all i can really say about it i kind of just had to sum it up for those who didn't understand honestly i feel like i could write a way better storyline nowadays however like i said i was younger so you know it makes sense all right now let's move on to the second iceberg now, the second iceberg does have some duplicate points, so I'm going to be skipping over the ones I've already talked about, and I'm only going to be talking about the unique ones. So, the first point on the top level is evolving slash better videos. I'm assuming he's talking about the fact that over time, the quality of my videos have gotten better, and obviously so, you know? I mean, over time, I've gotten older, I've learned a lot more about my skills, I've learned a lot more about editing, storytelling, just all of that, you know? I've kind of just learned a lot more about how to make videos, and obviously that means that it's going to carry over to my videos, too. So, that's basically all. I can really say about it is just that I've improved on my videos over time because that's usually how it goes for most YouTube channels. The next point on the top level is video ideas. I'm assuming he's talking about me using fan ideas. I don't really do that too often. However, I want to start doing it a lot more since I really like hearing you guys' ideas. On the next level, we have thumbnail upgrade. I don't know if this guy is talking about my thumbnails overall improving over time or if he's talking about the major switch in February 2020. If you guys were around before or in February 2020, you might have noticed my thumbnail 
thumbnails and my banner change. More specifically, my thumbnails had a major change. Instead of using a lot of random fonts, I decided to stick to one simple font. This font being Myriad Variable Concept. I still don't know how to pronounce Myriad. I decided to switch to that font since it's really easy to read from far away and overall it's, it's just simple, you know? It's clean, it looks good, and overall, I just like the way it looks. So yeah, that's basically it. Next up is upgrading plushies. I rarely ever upgrade plushies, with the only really upgrades that I've done being Bowser and Bowser Jr. Sometime in either May or June 2018, I don't really remember which month it was, I decided to switch my Bowser and my Jr. plushies to official versions of themselves. Before then, I was using bootleg versions, however, I decided to finally go out and buy the official versions, because the official versions were really expensive when I first started my channel, and I didn't really have enough money to buy them. However, I eventually did end up making enough money to go ahead and buy my own. So yeah, those are the only real plushy upgrades I've really done, and let's move on. The next point is Crazy Luigi Bros. I don't really know what this is talking about, but I guess I'll go into a little bit of detail about the history of Crazy Luigi Bros. If you guys want a fun fact about some early Crazy Mario Bros. trivia, Crazy Luigi Bros. almost had more subscribers than my main channel. What was the reason for this? I made SML animations. If you guys have ever seen the YouTube channel CMB Animations, yes, those are my animations. I used to make animations of SML videos since I used to be a really huge animator. I really enjoyed animating and I wanted to animate SML's videos to see if people would enjoy them, and they did! I managed to get like 6,000 subscribers, so... Yeah. There's a little bit of trivia for those who don't know. You know, Crazy Luigi Bros blew up pretty quickly. The next point is unfinished videos. I have three videos on my main channel that are about unreleased Crazy Mario Bros videos. These videos showcase a few unreleased or unfinished videos that I never ended up uploading due to very specific reasons. If you haven't seen these videos, I recommend checking them out because it's pretty interesting seeing how many videos I've scrapped. There really isn't much to say about these since they're basically public, but yeah, let's move on. The next point is SML Movie. You know, it's funny he puts a question mark because honestly, I don't really know what this point means. If he's talking about the actual Super Mario Logan movie, I wasn't ever involved in that, so I don't really know what this point means. So I guess let's move on to the next point being fan mail series. I'm assuming he's talking about the lack of fan mail videos over the course of 2020, and the reason for that is because I usually like filming them with my cast member Carter. However, like I said, he barely ever comes over anymore because we're very busy. Also, do you know how many letters we have? Like, oh my god. On the next level, we have Bowser Jr. Play. I don't really know what to say about this. Bowser Jr. Plays is essentially just multiple series of Bowser Jr. playing a video game, and that's really all there is to describe it. I've never had any canceled plans on Bowser Jr. Plays. Whenever I have an idea and I think it'll be good enough, I just go through with it. I don't really cancel it. Since I do really enjoy making the gameplay series, and that's basically it. If they're talking about the fact that I haven't made episode 3 to the Odyssey series yet, I'll get to it soon. I haven't really had enough time to record it, but I'll make it pretty soon, I promise. The next point is specials. This is another point where I don't really know what they're talking about. I feel like some of this is kind of undescriptive and I wish I knew. I mean, I'm gonna assume he's talking about subscriber specials, even though I really have kept up with my subscriber goals when it comes to specials. I mean, I had a 100k special, 150k special, 200k special, and a 250k special. I'm even working on a 300k special, so I'd say I'm pretty good in the special categories. So let's move on to the last point, being Mario and Luigi partners in time. This one's pretty interesting if you're not an early fan. So, I had a plan to make a plus series based on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. For those who don't know, that is a Super Mario RPG game that's on the Nintendo DS. I really like the game, it's one of my favorite DS games along with Bowser's Inside Story. I really enjoy the Mario RPG games and I really wanted to make a video based on them. But not actually a video, an entire series based on the game. Hence the reason why we have the Kylie Koopa custom, which me and Carter actually made in dedication for the series so that we could use Kylie Koopa, since I don't think a Kylie Koopa Koopa custom really existed at the time, so it was pretty new to us. So is it cancelled? Eh, kinda. I mean, I still wanna do it, but whenever it crosses my mind, I also forget about it really easily, so... Remind me in 2023, maybe I'll do it then. On the next level, we have Twitter account. Oh boy, where do I even start? So you guys probably noticed that for a six month period, my Twitter account was deactivated. What's the reason for this? Well, it's because my Twitter account kinda blew up for reasons I'm not really proud of, and I didn't really want to deal with the users on there anymore. I had originally quit Twitter in February 2020 due to me wanting to switch
switch over to Instagram. I mean, I already had my Instagram set up and I used it really frequently, which was basically the reason why I was leaving Twitter because I felt like I was having a lot more fun on Instagram and I wanted to bring more people over there. However, suddenly in May, my Twitter started blowing up. So I kind of had to come back for like a month and then I kind of got sick of it and then I deactivated. So there's not really too much to say about this without going into a full on rant because I don't like stan culture. But yeah, I deactivated my Twitter account for like half a year. The only reason it's back now is just so that people don't take my at username because that would be really annoying. However, I'm not going to tweet anything since like I said, I don't really like using Twitter. I like Instagram way more. So you guys should go follow me on there. The next point is banner style. Now my banner has changed a few times over the years and it's changed its style a lot. Currently, I'm trying to go for a more simplistic style where it just shows the four main characters along with my logo. Obviously before it was really complex. However, I realized how unappealing it was to a lot of people. So I just decided to keep it simple. The next point is 2016 to 2017 videos. Now, if you look at my first ever video, it's obviously uploaded in 2016. And like I said earlier, I had videos earlier and after that that are deleted. So it leads people to wonder what videos were uploaded. Well, for one, I used to be a speed runner. So I had a lot of speed runs on my YouTube channel. Along with that, I was really involved with people in the SpongeBob community. So I had a lot of SpongeBob related videos. And aside from that, that's honestly all I really did. So no, there's no crazy deleted videos that you really want to know about. It's not really that interesting. I did decide to leave up a few videos that I thought were funny enough. So yeah. The next point is Lemmy and his gay ball. I don't really get this one. I assume they're talking about the fan theory being that Lemmy is supposed to be gay, but that's not really true. It's kind of a double joke in a way, if you think about it. Basically, when me and Carter were first introducing the Koopalings, when we were thinking of how to introduce Lemmy, we searched up Lemmy Koopa on Google, and of course, one of the first stock images of him is him on a ball. If you've ever played the games, you'll know that Lemmy Koopa loves bouncy balls, so we essentially wanted to just kind of make a joke. It does kind of go hand in hand with the fact that he has rainbow hair, so I don't really blame people for thinking this, but... Yeah. The next point is doing trends. Honestly, I don't really think I do trends that often. I try to avoid doing trendy topics for the most part since I really like doing just general story videos a lot more than trends. Trends are only really done if I have a really good idea for how I can execute it, hence the Baldi's Basics and Among Us videos. However, some of them I just purely do for a joke such as the Piggy video and the Fortnite video. I don't know, sometimes I just like to have fun. <laughs> Next we have Yoshi and Koopa. I'm not sure if this is talking about their general disappearance or if they're talking about Ju Junior, Yoshi, and Koopa being a friend group. The reason I split them up from being a friend group is because I didn't want people grouping me up with SML thinking that I'm like ripping him off because Junior's friends with Koopa. That's actually the reason why I made Koopa hate Junior in majority of my videos. Basically to add some difference between Logan. I try to give Yoshi some cameos every now and then, but for the most part, I don't really see a point in using them since I don't think he really did much. Aside from him being the scientist, which is basically what Bowser is now, there isn't really much to do with him. That's also another reason why I got rid of Koopa. I didn't really need him as a character because I didn't really know what to do. The next point is Crazy Koopa Bros. I'm not really sure what this one means. I assume he's talking about Carter in general, so I guess I'm just gonna go into detail about Carter. Me and Carter met back in second grade, and I decided to introduce him into my videos basically as soon as I started. With him being my best friend since we met, I kind of just assumed he would fit perfectly, and he did. You guys seem to really like him in videos. So yeah, there's not really much to say about it. It's just me and him have been friends for a long time. That's why I put him in the videos, and he does have his own YouTube channel, which is almost at 10,000 subscribers. So you know what? Go show him some support. He's actually almost there. The next point is Larry sucks. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what this one means. I'm assuming the person who made this iceberg doesn't really like Larry's character. We are planning on making Larry have a huge personality shift soon. So if you don't like Larry's current personality, then you won't have to deal with it much anymore. <laughs> or maybe he's just saying this as a joke, which if that's the case, yeah, I agree. He kind of sucks. Next up is Mario and Luigi Plays. So Mario and Luigi Plays are the board game videos on my channel where Mario and Luigi decide to play some board games. That's basically all there is to say. I'm not really sure what this is about. I'm assuming that they're talking about the fact that I barely made any in 2020. But I mean, I only really had four. So does it really make that much of a difference? I'm not really sure. Next, we have Random Puberty. Honestly, I don't really think I have Random Puberty. Aside from late 2018 to early 2019, I never really took long breaks from YouTube. So my change in voice was pretty noticeable and you can hear it as you go through my video. Next we have Crazy Mario's website. Now if you go to crazymario.com you're going to be shown a page that says coming soon. But Crazy Mario Bros, what is coming soon? Yeah, I don't really know what's coming soon. I'm planning on using crazymario.com for when I make merch. So for now it's just kind of sitting there until I have that set up, so 
and yeah, that's basically it. The Crazy Mario Bros website used to have a lot more on it. However, I've obviously gotten rid of it because I don't really have a need for it. And yeah. Next up, we have Leaking Skype. This kind of refers to what I was talking about earlier with the drama being between me and Yubin. Basically, Yubin made a video on me trying to kind of expose me in a way for my actions. Now, the truth was, I didn't really do anything. Even he knew this. It was kind of just a video that he made out of boredom, I guess. But like I said, don't go sending hate to him because me and him are still friends nowadays. We just kind of had some weird disagreements. But he did leak my Skype in the video. Honestly, though, you can just search up Crazy Mario Bros on Skype and find me pretty easily, so it's not really much of a leak. So it didn't really bother me that much, to be honest. Next, we have cringy videos. I'm not really sure what this one is talking about. I don't know if he's talking about older videos or just videos that he doesn't like, but if it's about older videos, then yeah, I do agree that some of my earlier videos were cringy. I think that really goes for any YouTuber, because over time, YouTubers obviously get better, so then their older videos look worse as a result, and yeah, that's basically all there really is to say about it. Now we are on the final level where I've already covered two of these points, so I'm gonna be talking about unused accounts. I can't really think of that many unused accounts on the top of my head, so I'm just gonna go off of what I can think of. Crazy Mario Bros VODs is a channel that was used to archive my Twitch streams, however, you can see that there are no videos on there. It will be used soon because I am planning on using my Twitch channel again. CMB Animations hasn't been touched in almost two years due to the fact that I don't animate anymore. That channel was mostly intended to be an archive. Mario's Fun Life is a YouTube channel that I made for the video The Clumsy One. The same goes for the channel Luigi One Mario 2. They were both accounts that were made for the sake of just kind of being inside jokes with my community. The official Bowser Jr. is a channel that I used in the video Bowser Jr. the YouTuber, where it was Bowser Jr.'s channel in the video. And that's really all I can think of. So, those were the two Crazy Mario Bros. Icebergs. That was pretty interesting to talk about, and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me.